Hello, welcome back to City Planner Plays, where we are building Clearwater... Wait, 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 wait. The city of Verde Beach. But we are looking at this beautiful Clearwater Southern train rolling through the area. And the reason why we're looking at this is it was suggested in the Discord that maybe we bring in some Clearwater County assets into the build. This is the most appropriate one, in my opinion, and I really love this suggestion. So what we're bringing in is the standard length Clearwater Southern trains, as well as the long Clearwater County, uh, Clearwater Southern trains. I didn't bring in the extra long because I figure that we would have to rebuild the, the train network to make it work. And that's not really uh, something that, that I want to do right now, maybe maybe down the line, but for now, we'll just leave it like this. And just again, a huge shout out to Train Man, Planner Duck, Planner Pete, the Federation, and B. Swigglehausen, who put this asset together. And it's just gorgeous. It's so spectacular and a nice cross pollination between the builds. I really like it. So, uh, and because B. Swigglehausen worked on the content creator pack, is it really that different to have this in the build? I don't think so. So we're going to go with it. And with that, I think that we are going to talk a little bit about what we're going to do today. So today's episode is going to be focused primarily on transportation. So we want to focus on updating some of the roads in our new area. We're going to focus on a bit of transit, some traffic fixes. Uh, we're also going to review some of the transit that we put into this area. We're going to build out a small neighborhood around the Mall of Moderation. We should dig right in. But first, I want to give a huge shout out to today's video sponsor. I've teamed up with Apex Gaming PCs to design my own custom computer perfect for playing games like City Skylines and Timberborn. Check them out by looking at the link in the video description. On how could I forget, before we jump into all of our stuff, there's a couple of things that I need to take care of, and that is naming. So the very first thing I want to do is fix a mistake I made in the previous episode. So Lupo Esplanade, I, I got rid of the name and I renamed it for this street right here, which is great, but not what my intention was. So Kent Street isn't named for anyone in particular, and it's a very important and prominent road on this side of the river. So let's go ahead and rename this. There we go. And now it has a level of prominence that it didn't have before. The other thing I noticed as I was going through this is we have this little segment of William Clark. So we're just going to rename this Sugar Lane, Kennedy Lane. And then finally, I want to name some of the parks. So Charlie recommended that we replace the name of Linden Park with Gordon Park. And the reason for this is Gordon was an architect who always looked up to Maggie because of the major projects that she designed and built. Unfortunately, he passed away before graduating college and as a way to honor her nephew, she is naming the park after him. And I really like this idea, so let's go for it. But let's take it a step further. One of the things that was recommended in Discord is that we take this area right here and preserve it as a field for the college students. It could be a place to just study, roll down the hill, <laughs> whatever they would like to do in there. And I really like that idea. So what we're going to do, let's try to mirror this train line here. Well, I guess we're not mirroring, but it's fine. We're not going to let perfect be the enemy of good in this case. Although we are going to slope this. There's some sloping stuff happening. I don't love that. So let's take a look at our terrain. And you can see why it's happening. So we'll just come right here. Right mouse click up top. And bring that right down. There we go. So now when we come through here, it should be a much nicer connection. Oh, well. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's it's a connection and we are going to clear all of the landscaping through here and do some things okay so that is very nice i'm going to make this a bike route we're going to do more with this in the in the in the later part of the episode but for now i don't want to forget this and i also noticed that i didn't upgrade all the trees here and i don't want to forget that so while we are here let's go ahead and upgrade this okay and we're going to do more here anyway with landscaping not a lot we want to leave this fairly natural this is just a place to come and hang out a nice open field so i want to back this off a little bit 
really spread out these contour lines so that we don't have these kind of lumpies, lumpy, lumpy areas over here, the lumpies and bumpies, and so that we don't have these dirt uh, areas. And right here, I want to do a little bit of work as well. So we're going to use my favorite asset. There we go. That looks a lot better now. And uh, here I'm going to be fairly, I'm going to be, I'm going to take this and be fairly simple with what I'm going to do here. So let's just go ahead. Maybe we'll add a couple of paths through here. Nothing significant. We don't want to take up too much space through here. And let's even go with these gravel paths. And then we'll add some really basic fencing through here as well. And we're just going to use our grid here and turn off all of the rest of this stuff because it's messing everything up. Actually, let's go a step further. We'll preserve as much park space as we can. We'll just use angle. We won't even use angle. <laughs> I do like angle because it, it helps when you're free forming, but when you're trying to go fairly straight and there's a slight curve in the road, it really messes everything up. All right, so very clean, not a problem with a bit of green space. I think it's totally fine. And we're just gonna have a couple of trees where people could study underneath them if they wanted to. And you might've noticed that I took down all the palm trees around here. And that's because I'm gonna slowly go through the build as we're revisiting areas. And this is something I might do in a live stream soon, or maybe I already did it. And this is afterwards. Uh, just go through and re-detail some of these neighborhoods because we have such an opportunity now with the new trees available in the base game to create some really special places and we should do it. Really, really like that. So we're gonna name this we're not going to add any gates. This is just what it is. And we'll go ahead and give this a name as well. We'll make that Gordon Field. So Gordon Park right here and Golden Gordon Field. So I really like that. That this adds just a little bit to the area. And I miss some trees. So we're going we're gonna to add those as well. There we go. And right here we will continue our zoning. And I'm going to add some fencing just to ensure that we are getting our maximum density that we can here. And truthfully, fencing near this rail facility, this metro facility, not the worst idea anyway. From a safety standpoint, you might expect to see this. And it takes down those trees that I don't want anyway. So there we go. <laughs> we'll leave it there. We can do more with this at a later date. But this does give us that opportunity to add a little bit more commercial in this area, which I think is a good thing. So there we go. So let's also name. Ooh, that is strange. I don't like that at all. We're going to need to name this park area and a name that Stmat 45 Stmat Stat Stmat Stmat. 45 uh, gave gave us for this is the Myrtle Riverfront or the front. I really love that. So we're going, we're going with that. So I don't know why that happened. It looks like water levels have normalized as I type that in, but it happened. <laughs> so we'll, we'll just need to live with that. Now let's go ahead and we will, I'm going to try to lower this just a little bit. Hopefully that helps some. Obviously, we've got some pads that are a little bit too long and they're poking out, doing their pokey pokey thing, and I don't love that, but I think we can live with that a little bit. All right, now we're flooding out the neighborhood. That's perfect. <laughs> this was not my intention. This was not, I, and I'm sorry to all of these citizens who are, I guess, just deciding it's, a, it's an okay walk. They've got their rain boots on, so... We'll go with it. And then the other comment that I saw and that, that, that I really appreciated is that this looks like a mistake. <laughs> so, uh, and the thought was, 
you know, Maggie would be a little more intentional with her landscaping. And I agree. The main reason I did this is I want to give Maggie a sense of privacy and buffer her from some of the externalities associated with the traffic. So the noise, the lights, those things. Well, we could accomplish that without planting a forest next to her house. So let's get rid of this and let's use our mulligan to, to do something a little bit nicer. Okay, well this looks like a mess now. <laughs> <laughs> but but we are about to fix that and look at Maggie's house upgrading. Oh, look at that looking good This is more in line with what I was thinking So what I'm gonna do is plant an orchard here Which is an idea that came up that I just fell in love with and we're gonna go with it So what we're gonna do is come up there slope up try to get rid of that terrible cliff And I'll keep making it worse <laughs> I have it in my power and my ability to continue to make it much worse than it already was. <laughs> so, all right, so here we'll go. And it's looking a lot better. So the idea that was presented in the comments was to make this an orchard. And I really like that idea. We are going to ring this with some larger trees. I think that that's only appropriate to screen out some of this traffic, which we're going to have to do something about. So we'll just have a row of trees thoughtfully placed here to give some privacy. We'll do the exact same thing on this side. And this side, maybe I'm going to add a little bit of this stuff back that we had in here before. And now let's go into our older trees and we can find some of these root trees and plant those instead. And it's interesting, I had it in my head that I could use some of the fruit trees in here, but they are not available as an asset, which is really unfortunate. So we are going to just need to use some other trees and our imagination. And imagine that these are apple trees, for instance, that are waiting to flower, or that are waiting to uh, have apples. Let's clean this up. Uh, so I'm, I'm already not really loving what we're doing. So I'm going to call a mulligan on all of this. And what we'll do is why don't we use some of our gravel roads to create guidelines. Okay, I like that a ton more. So in her spare time, Maggie will tend her garden here. And to me, this looks a ton better. Feels a lot better. Feels a lot more intentional. And that is what we were going for. Let's be a little more intentional here too. And we're going to hide some of this. There we go. And apparently Maggie's loving it because she's renovating her house. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's time to go. So lots of great improvements from your feedback so i appreciate that so let's go on to some more feedback that you had about the bike network whoa actually <laughs> learwater county has decided to completely destroy the rail network <laughs> i hope this isn't what was this doing the traffic eh, 83 that's not because of rail that is because of this neighborhood well we'll need to to do something about that most likely though this because everything is great separated it's not going to have much of an impact in the, in the roadway network but our rail network is broken <laughs> so we're going to need to give that some thought okay so onto our bike network so through both this neighborhood here maggie gardens and covenant hills we've basically done nothing with bike lanes so that's a huge problem we thought about that a lot before and then somewhere along the way, I lost my way. <laughs> and now you are a second class citizen if you are on two wheels. Let's fix that. So what I'm thinking is we've got a couple of facilities that would make a lot of sense to add bike lanes to. First of all, right here where these don't connect, our bikers have really, really, really thick calves. We know that because if you look here, we take a look at the grades. Look at that. <laughs> so, since they have beefy calves, 
we can uh, take some liberties, I guess, and go down this hill. So we're gonna do that in a couple of locations. We are also going to expand this network here. So this crossing, I think would be great to be able to get across and go into the neighborhoods with a bike facility. So let's back this out just a bit, start there and use this as our backbone and make our decisions based upon where this backbone is. So I'm going to attempt to curve this around. So we're going to turn on grid. That's probably a, a bad idea. Road guideline, er, road length. That'll help. We'll go three, one, two, three. That's really long. <laughs> Maybe two. And then we'll just pop it down one. It's not going to be good enough. All right. So this is really difficult in vanilla because you've got to nail it up front. Okay, so that's not perfect. But it might be... Oh, that is real, real bad. <laughs> well, maybe not real bad. It's just not as good as I would like it to be. But in vanilla, you kind of got to work with what you can. So I wanted to conserve space here. Truthfully, there's no real reason to. So maybe we will just ramp up. Because I didn't really love the way that that looked. So let's just come through here. Let's get this to be as long as we can. And then we'll back this out and re-establish our connection. Now, truthfully, that little spiral ramp is likely much more appropriate right here. But even at that, we're probably okay. So we're going to run this behind these buildings here. This would require an easement from Lewis Lumber. But let me tell you, they would be the hero of all of the, the bike advocates in the community. So that is what they're going to do. Lewis Lumber, a friend of the biking community. And maybe that's because there's actually bikers that uh, work for Lewis Lumber. And they've been advocating for this type of facility. So we're just going to run this behind. We're going to need to do something with these trees. And we're going to try to keep this on as flat of grades as we can. You can see that the, the slopes come up here pretty quickly. Then let's just run the path on the side of the road. There we go. That is a nice facility. Now, certainly some issues here that we got to clean up. So let's take care of that now. It's a little bit painful to undo some of that work that we spent so much time on before, but things change. The city keeps evolving, becoming a different place. As that happens, sometimes you lose your landscaping and you get to replant more. And at least that's fun. There we go. That is one high quality bike facility now. Really, really like that. And we're going to decorate it as well. No reason to just leave this a sad little bike facility. We're going to make it a nice bike facility. And we've already got a cyclist coming down here. And I want to see, where are they going? Ah, gotcha. Okay, Charles Clark, you live, whoa, way over there. And you are coming from Master Architects, which is right here. That is one heck of a bike ride. And I'm glad. Going to the Florence residence. Whoa, 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 what did I, oh, hmm, again. <laughs> Well, it is another day in Verde Beach. That is why these trees look like that. <laughs> All right, so we've got that bike facility there and we can do even more. So let's go ahead and upgrade a portion of this road so we can bring this into this neighborhood here. So that'll be a little con connector segment, not the most fun. I, and I acknowledge not an excellent bike connection, but it doesn't mean it doesn't have value. And then we're going to run that down here to get back to the university where we have our bike connection down here. And I'm trying to think about ways that we can ensure that there is connectivity through here. Because that's the last thing you want is just a, a dead end bike term, uh, bike facility. Make sure that your, your system connects to something. So this gives us access to destinations, gives us access to people. It's good. So now our problem is we have no way to get into this neighborhood. Hmm. And we have trees. So if we go through here and make our connections, 
what we'll end up doing is losing all of our trees. I don't want to do that. So we're going to convert this road here right in the center to a bike facility. And apparently use some eminent domain on homes. <laughs> so, you know, it, I, I guess that happens. And what we'll do is we'll rely on this path connection. It's not ideal, but it'll work. And right here, there will be a segment where they have to, to bike on the sidewalk. We could fix some of that. We'll upgrade this to a bike connection. Now we have that connection there. And then we have just a small segment here where we'll lose our trees and apparently that building to add bike lanes. <laughs> and now you could get all the way through here and through most of this neighborhood. Oh my goodness, the fires are just on fire today. <laughs> so we're just lit up in this neighborhood. I, I don't I don't get it. But okay. We'll just uh we'll live with it. My landscaping is not not something that the game is fond of today. <laughs> All right, so there's more that we can do here, and there's more that we're going to do. So now that we've done that, we've got a whole bunch of streets in here that we want to convert as well. So our bike lanes, we stopped it here. Really don't see a reason for that stop. So let's pull this down and connect in right here into Myrtle Gardens. Cross the road right here. The only, I guess if this is east-west... The only connection that we have that goes all the way through is up here or this one. We are going to make this connection and then we'll make one down here as well, a little bit deeper into the neighborhood. So these two roads will form the backbone of our bike network. Now this is going through, you know, single family homes. This is not the most ideal location, but it does get us to our sports facilities and to the back of the high school which has a pedestrian connection. Now, the problem with upgrading this is that I really wanted to be able to have a pedestrian crossing right here, something I missed in the last one, and this is gonna make that impossible. That said, I think we're gonna go with it. I think that the pedestrian crossing matters less than the bike facility. So uh, if we're looking at a hierarchy of needs, I think that the bike facility is more important. And I'm going to extend this all the way down here. And some weird zoning things happened. So I'm just going to go through the streets where I've added these bike facilities and make sure I don't have any more of those. Got this. It, it, it almost looks intentional. I don't think it was. <laughs> but it looks like I, I planned to have this craziness. I didn't. That was that was an issue in the past. And this, this one too. Interesting. I don't know why this happened, but we'll get it fixed. We want some bigger buildings if we can. More significant massing. All right. And now we have to, we have to get down here. So Cannonball Alley connects through kind of. It truly not ideal. So we could add a bike facility through Cannonball over to Walnut Street. And I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to use uh, uh, some eminent domain, call a bit of a mulligan. And here's what we're going to do. We'll, we'll, we'll come through here. Send this bike facility down. So now this is not only the most terrifying intersection in the city, but it also has bike facilities all over the place. So I'm sure the bikers absolutely hate me at this point, but love me secretly because they're happy that they have the facilities. Just not like this. <laughs> this is not what they wanted. Not like this. All right, so what we'll do here, I think the self-leveling pads, even though they're not dedicated bike facilities, are going to be our best option. But that was not what I wanted to do. So we'll get rid of some of these bushes, and then we'll send these down, this right down. So this stinks. But in the game, it's going to be lovely. Ah, yeah, I don't like it at all. I can't even upgrade that because the slope is too steep. Okay. Let's just try it as a bike facility. This is the height of realism. Right here. <laughs> it's a great place that... I, I don't know. That's not a great place for anything. <laughs> but it will get used. And if I had node controller, I would certainly do better. So I hope that you'll forgive me this one time as I do something that I'm not proud of. I can't do it here. I just can't do it here. 
It's way too steep. Can't do it in either place. Ah! Yep, it's just gonna kind of be a struggle to get down, I think. It's it's too much for me. I just, I'm, I'm so conflicted. I, I really want to do it, but I can't. And I want to keep the trees. So, unfortunately, this is not going to be very accessible. I'm going to add in some facilities behind here. It's just, you see this sometimes in cities, and it drives me absolutely insane. When you see bike facilities that don't go anywhere, don't connect to anything, they're just there, like they're going to be a part of a network at some point in the future. Sometimes it will be, and then other times, it's just, it's just a mistake basically, uh, where someone really advocated for the right thing and it just didn't happen for one reason or another. And that's what we have here. It stinks. People will probably look at it and go, well, why? That's why. We're, we're, we have two competing interests. We have the, the terraces and the bike lanes, and we can't have both. The game's not going to allow it. And in reality, that's the case sometimes too. Usually it's parking and bike lanes that are the competing interests. But when you have those competing interests, oh my goodness, <laughs> jeez, oh boy, Myrtle is out in force today. She's going to get us. <laughs> I feel it. Maybe I just need to end the episode <laughs> because sometimes you just, you just gotta, you got a feeling. All right, well, let's move on from the bike facilities and work on some of these streets. Now, uh, another thing that was pointed out in the Discord that I did not realize that I absolutely love the best thing I've heard in a long time is that if you look at all of these different uh, bridges, these aren't just bridges. They're not just bridges. They are actually streets as well. So let's take a look at what these do when we place them down. So I want to take a look at a two lane road. So we have this two lane truss bridge and I basically have no streets in here to put it on anymore because I went, I went a little ham with the bike facilities. So we'll come over here. And look at that. You can upgrade a normal road with this. And you get the nice concrete sidewalks. Over here, let's say we go with the European version. You get stone sidewalks. So I love that. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to convert this little area. Let's go ahead. And we'll take a little bit of uh, Third Street inspiration in Milwaukee. And we'll have some cobblestone. And it's going to be a very nice leisure district for us. So we'll come through here. This little area doesn't actually have a district associated with it. Oh, it does. It has Myrtle Gardens. Whew, and that is a mess. <laughs> but that's what happens when you have a lot of districts overlapping. So right here, we need a district name. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go with the Myrtle experience. So we have the Hamilton experience. I wonder what the Myrtle experience is. <laughs> well, it's probably fl uh, flaming hot. So let's come through here and let's spice this area up. We are going to make it. This will be a leisure district. So this is going to really upset most of the neighbors in this area, which right now are likely professors. And now they will have bars next to them which to me seems fairly rational. In fact, I'm going to take away most of this housing here, even though it's our greatest need in the city. <laughs> we'll have a few more bars and restaurants. I'm going to keep it away from this because I don't want that to be the thing you see. You look out the window at the engineering hall and you see a bunch of bars. To me, that's it's not a good look. It's not a good look at all. <laughs> so we'll just avoid that. But we will add some elsewhere through this area. So there we go. So this will change over time. I'm really, really, really thinking that that's a great idea. There we go. Uh, the other thing I wanted uh, to think about in this area, and this might cause us to disrupt this network a little bit, is we have local public transportation to think about. And well, actually, let's continue with our roads. I'm, I'm continuing to forget about this road. And we have some interesting options here as well. So we've got a bunch of four lane roads. So I get to choose either between these really nice collectors or trees. Look at that cobblestone. That is beautiful. It's definitely more lanes than I would prefer, but I do like it. I'm conflicted, very conflicted. 
And look at this one. Oh, I absolutely adore the red stone on here. That is really nice looking. That said, I don't want to overbuild. So we might use that in another part of Verde Beach. For now, let's just go ahead and we'll add this. And we can landscape along this road in the future. I really love the way this looks. We did lose a connection to this building, so we'll need to reestablish that. Let's take care of that. And there we go. Not, not a difficult fix. So, looking good there. So, I wanted to get a tram in this area. I think that it could be a really unique and special feature back here. And I know that a number of you have, have, have let me know that that is something that you're very interested in seeing. And I agree. So, I've scoped out this excellent little location back here. We're going to plop it right there. We'll terraform a bit to make this work. But I really like this location uh, because it's a little bit off the beaten path. The road going to this is not all that important. The problem is I just will have to, to convert some of these roads to make this happen. That's okay. We can deal with a little bit of that. So we're going to overbuild this road and we'll run this straight down here. Oh, that is not okay though. That is not acceptable. Oh, and I'm just taking stuff out left and right. <laughs> well, you know, I guess what are you going to do? Uh, and I want to run this along the riverfront. I think that that would be a very nice aesthetic. It would be it would make this a real tourist destination. That is what we're going for. I hate that we have to choose between the tram and the trees. I feel like that's a, a false choice there. But, you know, in, in, in well, I guess one way of looking at it is we had all these trees that we that wanted to get out of the way to preserve views. This is kind of forcing that. So from that perspective, maybe it's not so bad. Unfortunately, that also means that this bike facility here is going to have to go away. So we're going to do something about that. We'll just convert that back and we'll change this little strip into a bike facility so you can at least connect up here. Maybe not the most necessary thing in the world, but we're going to do it anyway. We'll go for it. In fact, let's just do this. There we go. So now this loops around and we did lose some pads through here. So I want to get those back in. There we go. So now our tram would be able to make it back here. This is no longer connected. We lost a path there as well. So it's unfortunate. This is a, a place where I wish I could turn collision off. I can't. So we're just going to have to fix things. I'd love to be able to run this back here as well. We have to loop around back here. I just don't know that the benefit is there. You can walk from over here. It'll be good enough. So we run it back here. Where else do we go with this? I think there would be value in running this down the road that I just converted, which is really unfortunate. We also have some high quality bike facilities. So we don't want to disrupt those, but we are going to disrupt a little bit of this road that we just converted. Not all of it, but a portion of it. Oh, interesting. I can't. So this is Metro and it's saying you can't do it, can't do it, can't do it. So. I guess that solves it. We're not going this way. We can't. The only way that I could do that would be to bury this metro. And let me tell you, that is a project that from a cost standpoint, when you could run a bus down this road just as easily, it's just not going to happen. So we are just going to have to suffer a little bit with a bit of imperfection. Now we could try to run this up here. I just don't know that it's worth the cost. Right now, what we're doing is at least there's a purpose for it and that is really tourism so we're going to go with that and we'll keep these stops fairly close to one another and try to hit major destinations and vistas and here we're going to make this very close spacing it's really to get people from one destination to the next so i expect this to be very slow and that is quite all right with me Ooh, and I can't complete the line because I don't have a loop anywhere. So that is another issue. So we're going to have to find a place to loop this. So what I think we're going to do is add in a loop back here. And we'll just use a tram only road. We'll look at our terrain. Not a super suitable location. 
but we'll send this back here so that we can get to a more suitable location and have some sort of tram turnaround back here. Let's go ahead and use all of it, all the tools at our disposal. I attempted to, to just kind of go wild with it myself. Not going to work. Okay, so we've got this little turnaround back here. And what we'll do is actually add some pedestrian connections, maybe an overpass even, to get down here to bring some connectivity from the tram over to this area down here. And uh, this, is, this is, again, a tough one. And if there's any place where you could potentially get away with this, it's probably a college campus. Because it, uh, if you think about it, a college campus is, you know, they're going to have the funding for this sort of infrastructure project that might seem outlandish to others. So we'll loop that back around here. We'll also add a stop here. And if we're going to add this kind of facility, we got to do a little something to it. There you go. A little something here, not a lot, but it at least gives us a slight sense of place. <laughs> it's kind of a weird facility, uh, in my opinion, but it's going to get some utilization. I bet you if we take a look at this. Yep. There are people using it coming from all of these sports facilities. Another rationale for having this. So there we go, and we're completely messing up traffic right now because we've got a million trams going down this. So let's see, nine vehicles. Whoa! Holy utilization. Well, that was not what I was expecting. Uh, so having all these stops, apparently, is getting people excited about this. We're still going to take this down. We'll, we'll go maybe 50% at this point. And now we need to look at what we're doing with our traffic here. And let's prioritize all the movements on here. So there we go. For the most part, we've prioritized these movements. So hopefully that'll clear some of this out. And we'll see some of this bunching r reduce a bit. Because that's that is concerning. And I really don't love that we've lost some density here. I don't understand why exactly that happened, but it creates a really kind of ugly look here. We can hide some of that with trees. Hopefully we didn't lose a lot of buildings. And it looks like that may be the one and only spot. <laughs> not gonna look, not gonna look. Serenity now, serenity now. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. All right. So I, I kind of wish I would have curved this. That would be very expensive doing the engineering work, but I think it would really, it would shorten the trip length. Well, we'll, we'll just not let perfect get in the way of, of good enough right there. So man, that's looking really good. And I am pleased with it. Now I do want to make sure we have all these, these Metro stops. Let's just move this to get this a little bit closer. And maybe I went a little bit too close. I went a little little way, a little crazy. And the result of that is all of this bunching. And I'll, I'll have to leave these ones fairly close to make it work, but this one should be fine. There we go. So that's a little bit more rational spacing. I was really trying to keep this a pedestrian oriented experience. It's just one of those things where sometimes your best intentions lead to not the greatest of, 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 of uh, consequences. So that was not my intention. And uh, we'll just have to, to deal with that. All right. So one of the things I really want to do is take a look at how our metro routes are doing here. 98. Let's look at this line. So I want to say that this is Metro Line. Yeah. Metro Line 17. So that's not a great name. So we'll make this Myrtle Gardens and we will turn that bright red. And if we take a look at this line, and we've got a couple of reds. 
<laughs> Let's make sure we don't have any bunching. It looks like we're doing okay. Uh, truthfully, I bet you we could take this down just a little bit if we wanted to. Seems like two vehicles would probably do the trick. There's not a lot of queuing, so we'll do that. Uh, utilization, it's not very strong, which is really disappointing. This is, uh, you know, a little bit of cannibalization. You'll see that when you have too much transit in an area. People have too many options. There are diminishing returns at some point, and I think that we may have hit that in some of these areas. Now, why is this... Okay, it's just slowly waiting. All right, well, we'll have to watch this go down. These are just, it's kind of its kind of brutal to watch these. And I'm wondering, we look at our line overview. We've got a couple of stops that are really backing up. Once these aren't quite so bunched, it's going to be better. But for the time being, it's really going to stink. So I don't want to overreact and start responding to things right now. And that's just not necessary. And then finally... I want to take a look at this area. So we initially didn't develop this, but I think that there's an opportunity and that is for the Mall of Moderation. Maggie uh, has, has heard that there's a demand from the college students for some more shopping opportunities. And this is a very difficult place to develop because of some of the heights, but we are armed with a whole bunch of fill and some opportunity. So we're going to take it by a whole bunch. I mean, just a little. <laughs> so we're going to terrace this up a little bit raise this up to try to get this to road level and because this view will certainly help out when they are showing the mall of moderation out off to the world and i think i went a little bit too high we'll, we'll bring this down a bit uh you know phil is expensive so we obviously wouldn't want to go too 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 crazy with this there we go and we're going to need to find a nice roadway connection through here i think this is where i want to go right before things go wild here with the trains and let's build this with dirt roads we'll just experiment a bit and we want to let's take a look at that mall of moderation because we're going to want to get this situated in the way that it presents the best view from the road so it's pretty substantial what i'm going to do is build a road behind it this will be a temporary road. We don't actually want to keep this one. We'll place our asset and then we'll come back through here and build the road that we actually want. So I need to do a bit more grading to make this work. I'll get rid of this. Then let's go ahead and grade this out. We're going to need grading for our parking facilities as well, which we are going to contemplate considering we have our Verde Beach parking asset. Okay, so four almost perfectly fits right there. Now I am concerned I should have probably upgraded this road first. Oh, I got lucky. I got so, so lucky. So sometimes when you go ahead and do this, you'll end up in a situation where you can't upgrade because that dirt road is just a little bit narrower than, it's just a little bit narrower than uh, the, uh, then the, the dirt roads are narrow than the normal road. So didn't want that situation. And now I need to move these over. We might even need to move the, the road going along the side of the mall, mall of moderation over just a little bit. Because I do want to maximize my parking facilities. And this asset isn't perfect for what we're trying to do. But we can make it work. Not like that. <laughs> we, uh, we, we ran into some grading and that caused... The whole parking lot to terraform, that is not at all what we wanted. So we'll come over here, pull this down, do a little bit of work here as well. We'll pull this through. So I want at least two rows. That's about the same size as the mall itself. That's probably under parked in their opinion. They're probably wrong. Uh, what they're looking, what the mall developers are looking for if those still exist, <laughs> I guess they still do, but it's definitely a different world. Uh, back when malls were developed, what you'd expect to see would be, you know, a, a pretty significant parking field. The idea being that people need to feel that parking is plentiful. It's not challenging to park. If they do feel like it's challenging, they, the mall developers would probably feel like they're not going to come to the mall. So they would fight tooth and nail and say that the viability of their business would be affected 
by a lack of parking availability. So it looks like things shifted just a bit and that is going to drive me absolutely batty. Let's see if I can fix it. Okay, that did the trick. Boy, this is ugly. <laughs> and I'm sure that is exactly what Karen is thinking. Boy, this is ugly. Why would you do that to me? I'm going to sue. But it's in the plans or the plan commission accepts it and the council approves it. It, uh, it can happen. This land does not belong to Karen Sterling, so she cannot decide what gets built here. She can certainly register her opposition. And uh, she should. That would be highly encouraged. There we go. So we're going to need to do a little bit of work on this road to make this connect in nicely. And we will use our slope road tool. Come up here. Right mouse click. And then just slope it up gently. And then we will just make our nice connection here with our road guidelines on. And we'll get this upgraded. So we've got this area here, which we should probably which should, there should be a plan developed for it, truthfully. And the plan is, is very likely student housing. Uh, I mean, this is a college campus. I think we're going to bring this down just a block, hopefully get our power connection. We'll do 12 down. And we are not respecting the topography here. It's very challenging. So I'm going to run this road straight across. And then let's try to slope up from there. So we'll right mouse click there and then slope up. Yeah, and this isn't going to work in all of these locations because of the terrain that we've created. And that's part of respecting the topographies. It's not just respecting what is there naturally. It's also thinking about what you've created and attempting to, to, do, well, to do well with that as well. And I think what we'll do here We'll pull this back just a little bit. And I apologize. I'm sure that some of you are looking at those blinking lights uh, for power and it's driving you absolutely insane. It's driving me crazy too. I'm trying to ignore it. it, it I'm failing because I'm talking about it. So clearly it's bugging me, but <laughs> we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there soon. It also wants water or it should want water. I don't know why it doesn't. And we'll have some fairly dense residential here. It is college housing. I would expect this to be very dense. Commercial along the collector and housing right here. And then let's end this before we get to that cliff. Same thing over here. And I want to clean this up since we're already over here. Let's just take our opportunity to do something to improve the aesthetic quality of this area. There we go. So we've certainly got some more detailing to do in this area. This is not an appropriate place to leave it, in my opinion. But it's certainly better than it was. And I'm excited to see all these homes fill in. So I'm going to let this sit for just a second. We'll watch this area come to life. Okay, and this is going a little bit slower than I had hoped. But that's okay. Apparently this completely sapped the residential demand. So it said it was high, but is it really that high? I don't know. So let's come through here. I think a road connection would be very valuable to this area. You know, this is going to be a very steep road, but the ability to connect either with a path or a road. The reason I've decided to go with a road is mainly public safety and, and city services. Being able to get down here would be very valuable. So we're going to slope this down. We'll start up here. We'll just connect right up. Now, I, I really want to clean these trees up and, and, and do a little bit of work here, but that is not a today thing. So we will, uh, you'll have to forgive me just a little bit. And you see that there are some terrain height issues here. The only way to really fix that would be to come through here and shrink these lot, lots up. So I think that we could come through and say, we're just going to leave a donut in here. And that would help quite a bit through here too. It would be nice to get in a path. If we're not going to have a road. That path would have some value and we'll need to use eminent domain here to make it happen for a pedestrian facility, the height of realism. 
And I'm wondering, can I use any park assets back here? I would love to be able to, to add in a nice facility back here. Something, a gazebo. Wants to be in a park area. So if I just come through here and let me find a park area that's close by. So this is going to be a trick. <laughs> because uh, I, I need to not mess up Myrtle Hills. Just come through here. Come back around. There we go. And now, oh, oh, no, 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 that was not right. Okay, so I grabbed the wrong tool. I actually want to grab my park painting tool, <laughs> not my neighborhood painting tool. We're just going to draw a line. I'm going to sever this. I don't need the park area. I just wanted the ability to have this over here. And now I have a little piece of Gordon Park. It's silly, I know, but I can't place the assets without it. And I just really want a gazebo. <laughs> just a gazebo or maybe even coming in here. I know that this is probably silly considering how many fires we've had today. But what about a little fire pit? <laughs> just a little place to hang out. Some place a little different. Get a great view of the mall. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you're into so uh roast some marshmallows read some books pretend the mall's not there get a view of the water feels like what the students would have to suffer through so <laughs> that's what we're gonna go with and i like it and uh, with that i mean you, you take a look at this and i think you have to have a little bit of a city tour And it's another lovely evening in Verde Beach. And this is a special one. This is our 150th anniversary of the city. That's why we're putting out fires so we can celebrate in the next one. We've got a have a I think we've had a really good time today. We've done a lot of really interesting and important things to make this place a place. And I'm really excited about that. But we've got to celebrate the city soon. I do want to review a couple of things that we did today. So let's take a look at our tram line. So we'll pop back in here, look at our tram, and tram line four, I'm guessing. <laughs> That's Myrtle Gardens. This is red. That helps. <laughs> and what we're seeing is that it's one of our, I believe it's it's our, our second most successful tram. So I'm, I'm pleased with that. You see that the ridership, we don't have any spots now, except for this one where we're seeing significant queuing. But even at that, this is totally manageable. This is our first stop where the Metro comes and makes perfect sense that this would, this transfer opportunity, where there's a bit of a note of activity would be a very, very valuable place and an important part of this area. Now, one thing that I didn't do that I kind of wish I would have, and I'm going to, to do quickly, we have the Myrtle experience. We don't have any, any sort of hotel at all. And we're going to add just a little bit. One last little thing. And we'll change our zoning here as well. So I know that we need residents, but we also need tourists. 
and this would be an excellent place for it. I'm going to let this go for just a second so we get our hotels. Let's check it out. Okay, and apparently a little slow going here. It'll take a little bit of time for this to finish developing. I just want to make sure my, my district looks good. And we are seeing we have one hotel. Oh, there it is. There it is. Uh, so, juice bar. <laughs> I guess we get a hotel, a souvenir shop, a seafood joint, some delicacies on the shore, and uh, a juice bar. It's something. <laughs> so, we're just going to have to accept a little bit of uh, wonkiness, which is apparently what we're going to get. So things will fill in here. And uh, the reason I'm, I'm so excited about that is if we take a look at this ferry line, what we're seeing is there's actually some decent utilization, people going back and forth. And it would be great if there was some, were, were some activities for them here. And we have the Myrtle Experience and Hillside Heights. Uh, we need a new name for this one. If you have it, let me know. And we will get that in the next one. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button. If you aren't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.